scare? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I always look for opportunities to uh, come to Tulsa. I used to live here in, uh, back in the early 70s before I met the Lord. And I love Tulsa, but Tulsa didn't like me back then. So it was probably <laughs> the way I was living or something. But I'm always looking for opportunities to come to Tulsa and to hang out with my friend Jim Richards. So... Uh, so that brings me here tonight to be with y'all and to uh, just support what's going on here at the church and to hang out. So. dog with you. We got any doctors in the house? Doctor, doctor, oh, can I have a talk with you? I need a great physician. I got a soul condition. Doctor, doctor, can we talk about my case? Doctor, doctor, can we talk about my case? I need a great physician. I got a soul condition. There's no need, doctor, to talk about this state I'm in. I know there's nothing you can do. But I need someone to free me from my sin And there's only one who will do, yeah All right Nobody's clapping Y'all must be rhythmically challenged Can I have a talk with you? Jesus, Jesus, can I have a little talk with you? You are the great physician. I got a soul condition. You are the great physician. For my soul's condition, yeah, yeah. Y'all are doing so good. Are you feeling all right? We could do this all night, you know, but we won't, we won't. All right. This is a song Jim and I wrote together. I don't care I'm still gonna sit right here If I wait for tomorrow it might not come So I'll do my living for day is done Time don't waste when you don't care And there's never enough, don't put it off 
Oh, I can't afford to procrastinate. If I wait for tomorrow, it'll be too late. So don't sell me no green bananas. Don't sell me no, no green bananas. No, no. It's a very deep meaning spiritual song. No green bananas. It's a little insane and a little profound. And it all depends on your part of town. In a hospital room where one is born, another one be laying down. A young man lives like it don't matter. But it's a hard press to a can ladder. Oh, this world's on fire, I'm getting out Cause tomorrow may not matter So don't sell me no green bananas Don't sell me no, no green bananas No, no No green bananas, please, please Well, you see, this song's about a friend of mine's daddy who lives down in South Louisiana, Walker, Louisiana, as a matter of fact. And not too long ago, my friend's daddy, get this, he celebrated his 99th birthday. Come on, let's have a shout out for all the 99-year-olds at Grace tonight. I already told my kids, get ready for me to live that long. And when it comes time to send me to the home, the only home you can send me to is the home for the perpetually groovy. But not too long ago, my friend's daddy was in the grocery store shopping. That's right, a 98-year-old shopping. He was there in the produce section, wanted to buy some bananas. So he went up to a little girl working there and said, Ma'am, would you help me pick out some bananas? She said, Yes, sir, I'd be glad to. Well, she ran over, grabbed a big old bunch of green bananas, brought them back to him and said, Here you go, sir. You take these home, and in a couple of days, they'll be just fine. Well, my friend's daddy, he started shaking his head and said, "Hun, I'm sorry, but these bananas will not work. She said, why not, sir? You take them home in a couple of days, they'll wrap up, they'll be oh so fine. He said, well, babe, I'm 98 years old. I might not be here in a couple of days. True story. And when his son told me that story, I said, I'm going to write a song about your daddy. Because I don't know about you, but I spent too many days sitting around waiting for everything to get just right or get just right before I'd start enjoying it. And then I got to reading my Bible. You all know about the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. That's a book for me. And I found this passage of Scripture. It said, this is the day the Lord has made, and I will be glad and rejoice in and rejoice in that would be two days in case you was needing a little more theological definition there so now that you know this song's about a 99 year old man you'll understand the last verse it don't go something like this it goes exactly like this water boiling in the park three minute eggs take way too long if I ain't here when breakfast is done, well, it means that I've already gone. Mashed potatoes hurt my teeth, and I ain't as old as I used to be. Well, just one more step towards the door, and I hit eternity, so don't sell me no green bananas. Don't sell me no, no green bananas, no, no. No green bananas, please, please, please. Help me out here, would you? Don't sell me no. Don't sell me no. A little more.
more enthusiasm. Don't sell me no, 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 no green banana. Y'all doing all right? That's nice. Well, isn't it lovely? I can't believe that I was playing that funky song and nobody got up and shook their groove thing, you know? I thought we supposed to do that in church, right? Well, they tell me that I'm a blues guitar player. So I guess I should maybe play some blues. Is that all right? I, uh, the first time I ever played this song in a non-church setting, one of the first times was at a place in Clarksdale, Mississippi uh, called Ground Zero Blues Club. It's owned by Morgan Freeman. And uh, it was the first time that I'd really had the faith to realize that what I have as a believer, people outside of the church actually want. You know, we buy into the lie that people don't want to hear the gospel. They want to hear the gospel. They just want, want all the other stuff that we wrap it up in around it. They want somebody to come and love them and show them the love of God. And we were invited to play this club in Clarksdale. And the last verse of this song it's all stripped down. There's no band playing. It's just me screaming, Jesus, Jesus, will you take me just as I am? And I'd never done this in a setting like that. And there was 200 bikers there drinking like there was no tomorrow. And uh, so I didn't know what I was going to lose but my life. <laughs> And when I got to that part and I said the name of Jesus, I heard chairs moving. And they all scooted their chairs back from their table, rushed the stage, and killed me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> they scooted their chairs back from the table, stood up, and began to applaud that his name had been mentioned in that place. And it was one of the most sacred, worshipful moments experiences of my life. So I'd like to play that song for you, if that's all right. All my life, all my life I've been running, I've been running from things, from things I couldn't see, all my life, all my life I've been running. me you know I 
I tried so hard. But I just could not get away. You know, I tried, I tried so hard. But no matter what I did, I just couldn't get away. Till one day I fell down on my knees. Yes, I did. And I surrendered. I surrendered to his love that was running after me. I think I'll play my guitar. Thank you very much. <laughs> 